I'm Amy Stewart. This is Miss Cop Just Won't Quit, the fourth book in the Cop Sisters series based on the real life Constance Cop and her two sisters. When Constance was deputy sheriff, one of her responsibilities was to transport female inmates to the insane asylum. And in 1916, a woman named Anna Kaiser was committed to the Greystone Asylum at Morris Plains. Now, I don't know much about this case. I've only got a couple of newspaper articles to go on. But what I do know is that when Constance showed up to take Anna Kaiser away, she, quote, encountered some difficulty in getting Anna Kaiser out of her home. And I thought, well, if you showed up to take me to the insane asylum, I'd put up some resistance too. So I don't know why exactly Anna Kaiser was committed. I do have a few details about her life and her family situation from census records, but that's about it. So I did some research into other women who were committed at that time, and I made Anna Kaiser a composite of those women. In those days, we had no real treatment for many mental health disorders, and we didn't know anything about postpartum depression, symptoms of menopause, or other disorders that are particular to women. A husband could pretty much have his wife committed after just a short man-to-man -man talk with the family doctor. I don't want to give away too much, but I'll just add that something else happened that night when Constance took Anna Kaiser to the asylum. Another inmate who was also riding along that night escaped and jumped into the river. And as the cover of the book shows, Constance didn't hesitate to go in after him. And you know how women dressed in those days, the corsets, the petticoats, the long skirts. She ripped off her outer layers, dove in and hauled him out of the river. It was a heroic act and one that required a lot of physical strength, but it totally backfired on her. In fact, every time she did something amazing, something that any man in her position would be praised for doing, it came back to bite her. In this case, the Board of Freeholders blamed Sheriff Heath for the mishap and said that he never should have had a woman handling dangerous inmates. Instead of praise, she was publicly reprimanded. Now, these kind of scandals were playing out in the context of a very contentious election year battle when term limits prevented Sheriff Heath from running again. So Constance was going to get a new boss regardless. And once again, uh, the title, Miss Cop Just Won't Quit, is based on a real newspaper headline about her. So you can read the historical notes in the back of the book to see what's real and what's fiction, but most of it's really true. And there's a lot more information on my website. I also do Skype chats with book clubs, so feel free to take a look at all that and get in touch with me. I hope you enjoy the book, and there's a lot more to come.